whoever gets called on, whoever the number it is, Rex, Sonny, Julian, Hogan, whoever it is, myself, Tom, you know, the offensive linemen just doing a great job, sticking together, uh, you know, grinding out, making the yards we need to win this game. Yeah, my quad. It hurts a lot. Yeah, I can barely walk right now. Yeah, to tighten up, you know. Don't, you know, adrenaline's flowing throughout the game. It's the Super Bowl. I've had these quad shots about four times now. Probably won't be able to walk that good tomorrow, but it's all good. We're Super Bowl champs. You know, I saw the ball. I knew how to make the play. It was my turn to make the play. Julian was doing a great job making the plays, and it was my turn. Tom put it up there for my for me to go grab it, and he put it where it needed to be, and I just had to go make it. So it was, it was unbelievable. Oh, you relish these moments. You relish them all. I mean, you know how hard it is to get to the Super Bowl, and now we went three years in a row. You know, we won two of the last three. We won... You know, three of the last in the last five years. It's just awesome to be part part of this organization. Proud to be part of this team. Proud to be part of this organization. The guys we stuck together and we did a great job tonight. <clears throat> you know, I, I I haven't thought about that decision at all. I mean, tonight's the night to celebrate with my team. And in the future, that that will. You know, be decided in a few weeks or so. But tonight, it's about celebrating with our team because we stuck together as a team, and it's about that tonight. I mean, it felt pretty good. You know, it's a grind throughout the whole season playing football. I mean, you, you know, taking those hits uh, all the time. But you know, it felt good out there. It felt real good, and uh, just had to make the plays when when my number was called. Uh, you know. When it comes to crunch time, I always find a way. Yes, I, I, knew, I knew the ball was coming. I saw the coverage. It was the same coverage as the play before when we ran it. About two play, I'm pretty sure it was two plays before when I ran, lined up in the same spot. There was one play or two plays before, and McDaniel saw it, and then I saw the same coverage, same play call. I just knew it was going to come to me. I just, I just understand how we work as an offense, understand the play calling. I mean, we've been together for how many years now, Tom and I, McDaniels and I, uh, everyone. So I knew it was going to come to me, and I knew I had to go make that play. What about the game Julian had to help you set up for you? Yes, Julian had an unbelievable game. He's an unbelievable player. And uh, Julian played his ass off tonight like he always does he was mvp he was well deserved and he was like that all year he played he grinded everything out and he's a heck of a football player is that the fastest you've ever seen jason mccordy move on that one play <laughs> that, was, that was actually pretty impressive because i saw cooks wide open the end zone and all of a sudden you just saw mccordy shoot like a bullet and make that play i mean our defense played unbelievable I mean, you got to give them credit. I mean, without them, we would have never won the game. Uh, it was it was a big, huge team win, and the defense, Gilmore, McCordy's, they all made their plays when needed. Given how hard offense was to come by, is that the biggest catch of your career? I mean, you, I don't know, you tell me. You think so? It's up there. It's up there. I like it. It's up there. I like making big catches like that. I have to put it up at the top. What are you drinking tonight? What are you drinking? I don't know, man. Whatever Mr. Kraft has at that team party. <laughs> you know? We'll see what he has. At halftime, were there any um, adjustments that you guys made in the offense or any sort of, like, speech or, I don't know, rallying thing? No, we, we knew we had to stick to our game plan, and that's what we did. Uh, we knew that if we just kept grinding it out, running the ball, just wear them out, get them tired. We knew our defense was doing a great job, and the offense had to step it up, and we did. And we stuck to the game plan. You know, we didn't really change anything at the halftime. We stuck to the game plan. We, we put a few different plays in, like, like the shed I did for the, uh, the pass up the sideline on the drive, too. We put that play in right there on the spot. I mean, it was a great job, great throw by Tom, and a great call by McDaniels. Two more, guys, two more. You know, every Super Bowl is just surreal, and uh, this one ranks just at the top, just like the other ones. But the way how we won – just, you know, puts it at the top. And we won as a football team, and that's what it's all about. What's the defense ready for the 
<laughs> you know, it was a bit, a little bit earlier in the week. Uh, you know, we'll we'll have our fun tonight. It was definitely playful. I mean, it was it was a few few ga- few days out, a week or so out. You know, you got to enjoy your time. You know, at those at those events. So, uh, but tonight we'll be playful again. What's your message for the fans in New England? You know, we appreciate everything. The game today was a home game, basically. I mean, we had all our fans there. And Pat's Nation always stick, sticks by us, no matter what the situation is. We love you guys. We're bringing home the championship. We'll see you on the duck boats. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you.